Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 overthrow of King Boreas, the mighty monarch of ice and snow by Volcanus Rex and his fiery crew. 134 years ago, a reporter from the East Coast visiting St. Paul, when they returned to the East Coast, they wrote in their paper that St. Paul was unfit for human habitation, another Siberia. And of course, the people in St. Paul didn't like that, but how they reacted was fantastic. They created our first St. Paul Winter Carnival. They decided to embrace winter and make the city of St. Paul our nation's sports capital. They created events to do and events to view. Fireworks, ice castles, parades, toboggan races, sleigh and cutter parades. So many things for the people of St. Paul to enjoy. And that tradition has continued for again 134 years. And now, the 135th is here. The royal legend of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. As the king of the winds, Boreas assigned to each of his brothers a permanent grant of great force and power. To Titan was assigned the blustery north wind. To Euros was granted control of the irresponsible east wind. To Zephyrus was given custody of the bountiful west wind. To Notos was presented the balmy but unstable south wind. The brothers cavorted gaily over land and sea. Boreas, while on his extensive travels, came upon a winter paradise known as Minnesota. He paused to behold the enchanting beauty of a magnificent group of seven gently sloping hills in whose embrace nestled a beautiful city. Boreas whistled in sheer ecstasy Historic St. Paul and her seven hills, an ideal place. I will make St. Paul the capital of all of my domains. It will henceforth be embraced to the world as the winter playground of the realm of Boreas. Meanwhile, Volcanus Rex, the god of fire and the implacable enemy of Boreas crackled in defiant disdain. By the great sword of Mars, I will temper the blusterings of Boreas with the heat and roar of my forces. He was tireless in his bitter resistance to all the festivities of Boreas. Undaunted, Boreas proclaimed a celebration in the spirit of gay carnival. So be it, shouted Boreas. There will be a carnival in old St. Paul. Boreas selected a prime minister to coordinate his preparations in all the principalities, providences, and royal houses within the realm of St. Paul. And so, for 10 glorious days, there was carnival and joyous celebration in St. Paul. Feasting, dancing, fun and frolic reigned over by Boreas and the Queen of the Snows, the fairest maiden in the realm, along with the four winds, who were each accompanied by a lovely princess from the realm of Boreas. Klondike Kate, a lady of song and merriment, added her sassy but enchanting voice to the festivities by singing songs of desire and sentiment. Senior King Winter and Queen of the Northlands and their court contributed goodwill and wisdom, while Junior King Frost and Queen of the Snowflakes with their court added youthful exuberance to the festival. On the 10th day of celebration, Volcanus Rex and his fiery crew stormed the magnificent ice castle and confronted the King's guard. Upon the good counsel of the Queen, Boreas bid farewell to the people of his winter capital in the interest of peace and goodwill and returned to dwell among the gods of Olympus. Boreas and his court looked forward to the time when summer's warmth would once again relinquish its hold on the realm and the frosty atmosphere of winter would prevail. What a big so night in the city of St. Paul. We've enjoyed the last 10 days. Ooh. Boreas has reigned over St. Like Paul. To but tonight yeah. is not a cold night. Tonight's not a chilly night. Tonight is for warmth, and as you can see, the Vulcans are out in numbers, bringing the work to St. Paul. As we're seeing now, these are former Vulcans who have carried on our tradition for many, many years. They're all coming together to support the current Volcanus Rex and his fiery crew, and in support, help them overthrow King Boreas and his royal court. One of the things we truly enjoy is watching the Vulcans with their torches 
every year in this parade. They have those fiery torches. Just really makes a wonderful backdrop to this parade. And the ending of the St. Paul Winter Carnival for this year. Hail the Volk. Now some may be watching all the different fire trucks. Of course, with our Vulcan crews, they identify with the, the fire trucks. It's what they uh, ride on throughout the St. Paul Winter Carnival during their 10 days. And these uh, groups each represent some of the former years, and each of them have their own Laverne. You know, the St. Paul Winter Carnival is rich in tradition, and one of the things that we are so proud of is the current crew always rides on a 1932 fire truck. It's called the Laverne. In fact, it was St. Paul's number one fire truck. And in 1998, the St. Paul Fire Department donated it to the Vulcans so they could continue that tradition of riding on Laverne every single St. Paul Winter Carnival. We are so proud of that fire truck. If history repeats itself, what we're watching here is the Vulcans are gathering their strength and the current crew is going to make their first challenge of King Boreas and his royal court. Now in the past, they've been repelled because of the King's Guard, the mighty King's Guard, the true blue protectors of the realm. The men in blue, the King's Guard, they're holding their ground, they're pushing back, they're making Boreas proud. It looks like they're going to be able to repel this first assault on the King's Castle. Let's see, oh, the, the Vulcans are, repe are repelled. They're moving back. Well done, hail the King's Guard, nicely done. Uh, but the Vulcans aren't discouraged. They're uh, ready to take St. Paul back. They're amassing, and uh, yes, they're coming back for more. They are attempting to, I can see, yep, yeah, and uh-oh, I think we're seeing Notos, that unstable wind of Boreas. It looks like he might be going along. Notos is with the Vulcans. Oh, now that pushes the strength onto the Vulcan side. We're going to have to see what happens here, but... I think the Vulcans might have just turned the tide. Has Noto defected? Now we do need to note that Notos is from the balmy south, brings the balmy south wind, and he's always wearing red, so maybe it's not too surprising that he kind of likes the heat too and went on with the Vulcans. So the Vulcans have regrouped, and now they have the strength of the south. So I think maybe Boreas's time is over here in St. Paul. And I think we're, yep, the Vulcans are coming back. They're pushing. And you know, from the good counsel of the queen. Boreas, the heat in St. Paul has risen too high. It's time to return to Mount Olympus. I think the Bo Boreas is making that decision now. And it looks like the entire royal family is starting to make their way out. And the Vulcans are taking over the city of St. Paul. So the tradition has happened once again. Volcanus Rex and his fiery crew have taken over St. Paul, dethroned Boreas. Boreas is on his way back to Mount Olympus with his royal court. And now summer can return to the city of St. Paul and its seven rolling hills. And Vulcans will reign until next winter when it gets chilly again and the mighty monarch of ice and snow may return for another St. Paul Winter Carnival. So as is tradition, during the 10 days of the St. Paul Winter Carnival, while the Vulcans and Vulcanus are fighting over the city to bring warmth back to the city of St. Paul, they are always masked. And now that they have won over the city, now they will take off their goggles, take off their rooster hats, and we get to know who our Vulcans are for this year. We'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Boreas Rex the 84th, Darren R. Johnson and his royal family for a wonderful 10-day St. Paul Winter Carnival. And of course, we want to congratulate Volcanus Rex the 83rd, Todd Miller and his fiery crew for bringing warmth back to the city of St. Paul. And of course, the St. Paul Winter Carnival wouldn't happen without the time, talent, and treasure of so many people. So we're so thankful for the sponsors who step up with their treasure and support the St. Paul Winter Carnival. We're thankful for the volunteers and the organizers who with their gifts of talent 
and time make sure that these events happen, even if it's in a year like this year where we've had traditions with a twist, we've done some in person, some virtually, but the tradition continues. So once again, we'd like to thank all those involved who have made this year, the 2021 St. Paul Winter Carnival, the 135th celebration a success. Let's have some fireworks. Let's have some fireworks. Let's have some fireworks.